welcome to our Sakata vegetable production series where we talk everything vegetables. Today we're talking about fertigation or fertilization depending on how you want to call it. We're talking about the farki, so the little pig. What is it, what does it do and how does this add value to your farm at the end of the day? Alex, how are you doing? Very well and you? No, good. Okay, so we've got a little like almost looks like a Kaidak gas canister thing here but it's called a pig or a farki. Yeah. What does this thing do? Okay, so basically um, it's a very easy way of taking um, water-soluble uh, fertilizer. We mix it in here and then we can irrigate each block differently. And we can basically, all the, all the fertilizer we put in here, we put through the system. Um, going. Um, the nice thing of doing something like this is we can give fertilizer on a, on a weekly or daily every second day basis. So every time that you're giving water you're basically just putting in a little bit of fertilizer yeah. and that's constantly, you're almost like spoon feeding the yeah, plant. Exactly, that's what we do. It's almost like a hydroponic plant that we're just giving and that's why they call it fertigation is because you can, the whole time you can give some fertilizer to the plant. So what's the main uh, advantages of this versus like um, the basic <coughs> granular fertilizer that I, uh, that I just sprayed um, with a hand or that I would put in with a, with a fertilizer spreader? Okay, with this system, basically what it comes down to with, with granular, you can burn your plant very easily. Um, the kernel can fall anywhere. Um, with this, we're putting it exactly where we want to put it, um, with the drip irrigation. And the, the, in years when we have a lot of rain and you, you basically leaches most of your nutrients out of the soil, we can constantly give nutrients to the plant even in very rainy weather and very wet soils we still can give uh, fertilizer to the plant and in some instances i'm pretty sure um, as well as specifically when you put out all your fertilizer ahead of time or a lot of that is um, that the plants almost always doesn't like that high concentration of fertilizer yeah. levels especially when they're young with this you're more or less easing them into uh, um, the process yes exactly and also when you get to big plants you can't get in with a, a spreader so we can constantly it doesn't matter if it's a small plant or a, a mature tomato plant that's 1.8 meters high we can still give uh, fertilizer to that plant and we can actually as soon as we pick up any problems with leaf analysis yep we can we can give fertilizer to, to uh, work that because that was my next question you can now go in and say okay but I've picked up a potassium shortage and I can just address the potassium shortage exactly I don't have to go the whole spectrum with with everything okay so but how does this thing work exactly I see you've got two taps here and then we've got almost something that looks like ears at the top how does this thing actually work okay maybe let's start at the top um, this is the lid it's got a rubber in there and um, when we mix the, the the fertilizer we will open this we will put our fertilizer and then we will mix the and when you're putting in your fertilizer will you then see what the areas is that you want to cover for this specific line for example or lines and then you calculate the amount of fertilizer let's say you need 10 kilograms of fertilizer to put on what you want for that area you just put everything in there and then you tighten it yeah. up then you tighten it up, otherwise everything is going to blow out at top, so it must be sealed very And that's why the lid is also sealing from the bottom, bottom. side, yeah. so that when the water comes, it pushes it closed. Push it, yeah, push okay, it. I'm with it's you. It's closed. Okay, so the main water comes comes from this side, it's coming in, so the bottom one would be your, your water in. So that's when it comes into the yeah. bottom, yeah. So And then you've got a, a valve in the middle. So yep, we, we will close one. that a little bit yep. so that we force the water into this this tank yes and then as soon as the mixture is is fine and we want to we want to send it to the block we will open the so top i don't one. close that fully no. i just close it a little bit so there's still water going through yes. but then and then the water is coming through from yeah. this side as and well and that way you make sure that you don't send a concentration down the line ah. but you, you dilute it a little bit and you you putting it down over a period of so I'm, I'm getting water from here and I'm yeah. getting water from there so I would be maybe getting like 10 or 20 percent of my water from here yeah. and still 80 percent of my water yes. is going through that side yeah. and then they meet up here if I can put it yeah. like that so they meet up there and then from here onwards I've got water that's full of uh, that's full of fertilizer that basically goes, uh, goes, goes to the plant 
and yeah you can regulate you you, you can regulate it the way you want it to, to give it and how long you want to give it so um, you have to measure it's always important to measure what you're doing and how you're doing it and how long you're doing it so as soon as you know how it works it's easy to, to manage the system and um, over what period would I want to put in that fertigation say I'm irrigating for four hours for example uh, or two hours depending on um, would I just use that whole two hours to basically uh, um, get all my fertilizer in? Yeah, so then you, you would uh, let your outflow be very slow um, to make sure for that two hours that you're going to irrigate, that's the time it's going to take for this whole mixture that's in here to, to put down, be put down on the block. And I don't want to have that concentrated fertilizer because then I burn the plant yeah, as well. I can, I can burn, burn the plant, plant yeah. potentially as well. Yes. And then there's another tap at the back there, what's that for? That's just to, to um, uh, uh, if you've got a bolt up of, of anything or you put something in there that shouldn't be, uh, that's not water soluble, yeah. that you can flush the tank and get it clean. And get it up. clean properly. Yeah. So you don't have to actually open it, you can just yeah. put in the water here, open yeah. that tap and that basically Plus flushes the uh, um, the whole system. Awesome, yeah. Alex. Thank you very much. Right. So now you know how the Farki or the pig works. Um, it's one of those tools um, that not everyone knows about it but it just makes your life so much easier specifically when you've got drip irrigation or irrigation in and you're able to just give the plant whatever it needs when it needs it so yeah if you haven't got one get a farki so that's it from our Sakata vegetable production series if you've got any comments questions put them below um, also there will be a link on top or below depending on where you're watching uh, don't hesitate to get in contact with Sakata. Till next time, cheers.